Hi everyone and welcome to our new video series. My name is Jan Gustafsson and I'm thrilled to be reunited with fellow Magnus Carlsen's trainers, seconds, Peter Heine Nielsen, Magnus Carlsen's head coach and Laurent Fressinet, Magnus Carlsen's French coach, are both here and we will be going through the World Championship match 2021. Our experiences with it, the games, what we prepared, where we felt things went well, where we felt things didn't go well. Peter, we have different perspectives because we were in different locations. Very much. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about it because you were in Thailand during all the match and I was in Dubai with the Magnus and the physiologist, his non-chess team. So I see some kind of debriefing where we will discuss what was the mood in Dubai, what was happening in the technical department in Thailand. And we got to sort of basically compare notes and uh, yeah, get the two kind of inside looks uh, from the match. Very much so. And Laurent, we are actually in your private home. Thanks for having us. It's a big pleasure to, to welcome both of you. And I'm sure it will be interesting to talk to you guys about the match. Likewise. So we hope you guys enjoy the series with our behind the scenes insights. <laughs> See you then. Everybody, how are you guys doing? Welcome to this uh, new Battle Blitz session. My name is Pepe Cuenca. I'm a grandmaster from Spain. It's really nice to be here with all of you guys. It's been a long time, right? And uh, but it's been pretty busy in in the Spanish uh, channel. So I'm very glad to be back here with all of you guys playing in in English with you. And uh, as you know, I'll be playing uh, against uh, the premium members from Chess Twenty Four. Uh, well, uh, we have a link where you can challenge me. It's already written in the first comment uh, of our uh, show page uh, in Chess24. So, uh, yeah, let's start, right? So, first game, I'm facing Beccarius. No, 2200 player. So, let's go for the Kings India, one of my favorite openings, right? With the black pieces against one d4. And uh, let's see how he plays. Knight c3, bishop g7, and now e4, e3. Well, this is not the most challenging variation. Of course, usually uh, white uh, tries to occupy the center with e4. And here, if the c takes d4, pawn takes d4, now we can play d5, reaching this uh, isolated uh, pawn structure position, where I'm going to try to put a lot of pressure against uh, the d4 pawn. What's up, Fires War? What's up, Jose? Uh, so, Mm, let's see. I think I can play bishop d4 here. Maybe bishop f5. And interesting. So let's go for bishop f5 here. Now my idea is to bring probably the rook to c8. Uh, for knight to e5. <clears throat> and now I think I can just go rook c8 here. It is a normal move, right? Just trying to protect the c seat knight. So my idea would be probably to just capture with the rook. Okay, he doesn't go for it. So now it's my time to capture on c4, right? And, uh, sorry, yeah, so d takes c4, and after knight c6, well, I can take with the rook back. So knight c4, and here, maybe knight e4, knight e5 are both uh, pretty interesting moves, so I'm just gonna decide to go for knight e5, blocking the isolated pawn, right? And after knight d5, queen takes d5, bishop f3, I can always go bishop e4, I believe, in this position, right? I think this is a very decent move. Now my next move is to go rook f to d8, intend to put a lot of pressure against the d4 pawn. Greetings from Argentina. So where are you guys watching from? Tell me, d5 here, is this possible? So my first idea was to go here rook f d8. Probably is a good move. Queen b3, queen d5, queen b7. I think black is fine here. So yes, let's go rook d8. Just pinning this pawn on d5, right? So the first game is always hard, right? When you are playing in, I mean, in other language, right? It's always uh, harder, uh, but it's just warming up. Let's just try to capture this pawn on d5. And uh, so you guys are 
You guys are able to see the port? Yes. Yes, everything's fine, right? So D5, uh, D takes C6, now root D1. So it's got to take, um, probably, this is just winning, right? So I'm just going to capture with my pawn. This is very important. So I cannot capture with the rook because of rook D8 followed by bishop H6. So we have some background problems and still not solved. So let's play, for example, H5. Now we have solved these background problems and we are ready to continue the game. Maybe H4, H3, this could be an idea. So let's go. Let's just try to open the position up, right, with H4. Now it's working, right? Sorry, guys, for the little inconvenience. We have a fantastic producer taking care of all of these, uh, you know, small problems. And here maybe Queen G4 could be an interesting idea. Just uh, attacking the rook on D7 and intend to go H3. And his king side is extremely weak, right? After H3, G3, you know, he's got a lot of weaknesses on the light squares. All right, so G3, what to do now? Maybe rook D8 looks to me like a very strong move since we want to capture in D2 followed by queen F3. Okay, rook A4, still this guy giving me some troubles here, right? So let's go queen H5, for example. Ah, this is not a very good move. Well, queen f5, nothing bad really happens here. And uh, queen d5, let's say. Now I want to go queen g2 checkmate. So it's got to take care. I mean, it's got to do something about it, right? Maybe f 3 stuff like that. And we got only 56 seconds. So we should hurry up a little bit. Right? f3, bishop h6 is very strong. Rook f3, I mean, this kind of work, right? For sure. But still, never easy. Right, never easy, this chess. Let's go e5, for example, you know, to go e4, or maybe g5, g4 is also an option. Let's say queen d6 here, 41 seconds, we need to hurry up. Once again, f5, it's another idea here, just trapping the rook, this rook, sorry. And uh, yeah, it's gonna resign pretty soon. Let's, let's say e4 here, attacking the rook, winning a tempo, 36 seconds, and now give me that, baby. Now I'm attacking two pieces at the same time. So probably bishop g5 is the only move here. And now give me that, baby. Queen takes e8. And uh, let's say king h7. And he's got to resign very soon. Queen d5 centralizing the queen. Then in g5, almost dropping this knight. He's got to go knight f3 and after queen e4. This is checkmate. Thank you for the game, my friend. And uh, let's accept another challenge, for example, against Firesword from the United States. So let's go for e4. This is the Sicilian defense. Knight f3 and d6. Now we go for the open Sicilian with knight uh, d4 and knight c3. Let's see what kind of Sicilian he goes for. He opts for the classical Sicilian. And then I'm going to opt for this uh, system with uh, bishop g5. Queen d2, long castle, and f4, right? Rook c8, long castle, and then white's idea is usually to attack on the king side with moves like f4, right? Queen a5, okay, that's, uh, that, uh, I mean, that makes a lot of sense in this position. And here maybe mm, knight to b3, just attacking the queen, right? And then usually this king goes to b1 in this position since there is a rook on c8 in this semi-open file, which could be very dangerous at some point, right? So, two minutes and 30 seconds for our friend. Guys, by the way, I need you. I need you. I was about to forget all of this, but uh, the 20th of uh, the twentieth of March, you know, we are going to play against Judith Polgar. I mean, when I say we, I say all of us, you know, the, the English community and Spanish community all together here, we are going to face Judith Polgar. She's going to be doing a simul from Dubai, right? So I need all of you because, of course, if I play, if I play myself, it's not fair, right? Uh, so uh, the whole community is going to play, right? So what to do here? Let's just attack like beasts, G4. And uh, it's weird to listen to Pepe uh, speaking in English when you're ready. Uh, used to listen in in Spanish. I agree. I agree, guys. But don't worry. You'll make it. So let's say bishop e2, for example. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. 
protecting f3. And uh, I want to go h4, bishop e3, back at the g5, attacking like a beast, right? So, so I'm going to open the Twitch chat as well. Remember, guys, I'm always reading the chat and stuff like that, you know, so you can ask me any question that you want. I love interacting with people. It's more fun, you know. I hate, like, talking to myself, feel like a crazy guy, right? So I'm always reading your questions and suggestions. So B4. All right. So I think I'm going to go for knight to D5 and then pawn takes. And uh, yeah, this is getting tricky. Let's go. Facundo, solving the situation. F4. Where are you going to go, my friend? Well, you don't have so many options. Maybe I just, uh, you know, didn't see this. So, well, this is getting tricky. This is getting tricky. Takes, takes, and let's go for this. Yeah, bishop g4, rook e1, and now I want to go, you know, something like knight d4. This makes a lot of sense here, protecting c2, and now attacking this guy on f5, and then the knight wants to reach c6. But he allows me. Of course, he should play bishop d7 here, and it's not going to be, you know, uh, clear by any means in this position. But I just want to, you know, double rooks on the e file. And then put a lot of pressure uh, on the e file against his e7 pawn. You know, the ratings are not uh, very real now because this is the new play zone, right? And, uh, you know, the ratings are still not adjusted. So this guy clearly plays better than an 1800 player. All right. So, rookie two. And followed by rook h to e1, right? Putting pressure against uh, e7. Not easy for him, right? He is completely underdeveloped. His skin is still in the center. So bishop g, g4, well, this doesn't bother me because I can just play rook e3. This doesn't change my plans. Actually, uh, you know, I now uh, I do have this c6 square for, for by night, right? What's up, the Le Chanson de Roland? You're French, I believe, right? So knight c6. Let's do it. Let's do it, my friend. Yeah. You're gonna take, I know, I know you. I know you're gonna take my friend. And now rookie one, there's too much pressure here, but uh, he somehow managed to, you know, to survive in this position. So C3, let's open some files for our rooks. Have you met Grandmaster Shirov in Spain? Of course, he, he was my teammate like two years ago in the Spanish uh, team league. And, you know, he's a super strong player. So c3, and now I want to capture b4. It goes for b3. Is this even possible? I believe it is. But now b3, pawn takes, uh, let's just say c4 here, just protecting this pawn on b3. Bishop b7, give me that baby. And now, well, I'm not sure if I should capture this guy. Instead, I'm going to go for the d6 pawn, which is, I believe, more important. And it doesn't open my, my file, you know? So let's just say rook e2, for example. And after a4, I can always close the position with b4. So nothing really bad happens here. So h6. Uh, let's just say rook d2, doubling rooks here on the d file. And boomba! Boomba! -ta -ta -ta. Rook a8, rook takes a5, c5, c6, run banana, c7, c8. Um, this is it, my friends. This is it. Check, check. Checkmate. Okay, so let's go for the next opponent. For example, my friend uh, Shadow Mate from Canada. I'm going to play my favorite defense with the black pieces, which is the Philidor opening. I recorded a video series in Chessable Lifetime Repertoire like for about 45 hours. <laughs> so I was working on that like for a lot of months, you know. So E5, this is, you know, H3. This is not very, of course, challenging here. And I'm just going to go knight bd7, transposing to the lines that I know. Of course, it was possible to take a d4. Let's just go shared castle here. Black's plant. Usually, I'm going to go c6. You know, black's plant usually are related to expand uh, our pawns on the queen side. Let's say here by playing rook b8, b5. That's an option, right? So let's go for this. I cannot go b5 straight away because. White could take a um, passant and, uh, you know, have some troubles on the A5. 
and uh, let's say B5. Now we are threatening actually B4, and the E4 pawn is hanging, so you should deal with that. For example, bishop d3 could be an option. He decides to take, this is never a good idea for white because relaxing the tensor, sorry, the, uh, the tension in the center is never a good idea. Now, uh, you know, we have this c5 square, which is very nice. For example, a plan could be just to go queen c7, knight c5, knight e6, uh, intending, as I told you, just to occupy some dark squares, for example, f4, d4, I believe are very tasty for us here. The Philidor rules, you know. This is the opening I used until I became a grandmaster almost uh, exclusively in all my games, you know. So B4 wins a pawn. But I don't want to win a pawn now. I want to I wanna even checkmate. I want to bring my knight to F4 and then sacrifice some pieces. Well, B4 probably was uh, good enough, but uh, I think knight E6 is even stronger here. Let's see. Let's see, sorry. Knight F4. I like this move. Now, there are some uh, possible sacrifices on H3. Right, and uh, you should be very, very caref uh, careful. Sorry, not to lose immediately in this game. Maybe I'm, you know, overreacting, saying that he is completely lost. But for sure, we are a little bit better in this position. Well, should I bring my other knight? Maybe this is a good option here. Knight takes e3 once again. Looks good, but I'm gonna go for the most aggressive op uh, option here. And uh, I guess then you knew Arturo Pomar as well. I know who Arturo Pomar was, but. Uh, I never, uh, I never met him, of course. So knight takes f4, knight takes f4, and uh, bishop e6, rook d8. All our pieces are very well coordinated here. Knight g3. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, let's just play it like normal people, like capturing the bishop pair and then continuing with the development of our, PC, of our pieces, sorry, bishop e6, f6 is a very important reinforcing move in this position. And then we have created a new weakness in this position, which is the backward pawn on d3. And now we can use all our forces to put pressure against it, right? So f6, took f8, queen d7, and then he for sure is going to struggle to to protect everything. Rook a7 doesn't bother me because we got this rook b7 idea. And, uh, you know, we are not suffering at all in this position. Well, let's go rook a8, fighting for the a file. Um, so you can see it still has some issues, right, with the d3 pawn, with the b3 pawn. Give me that, baby. I'm going to take that with your permission. And, uh, well, let's just go back, or maybe even queen d8. Looks a good defensive move. After knight f5, bishop f8. Very strong, just protecting everything. And now we are going to go against the uh, uh, d3 pawn, right? So, what's going on, guys? So, how's your day? So, you're watching from work or from university, from home, laying, lying in the couch, like uh, watching television or something. Queen f3, where do you go, my friend? Uh-huh. You want to go queen g4? You're going to lose on time anyway. Okay, thank you for the game. And uh, let's go for the next game, right? For example, we're going to play against uh, another guy from the States. Malo Miller. And, uh, well, let's go e4 once again. Before they went for Sicilia. Now we, they go for e5, knight f3. And of course, we're going to go for the Spanish Ruy Lopez opening with bishop b5. And here, yeah, a6 is one of the main lines. The other one is knight f6, reaching the Berlin defense. So bishop a4. And here, b6. This is very, very weird move, right? You know, usually black goes knight f6 or d6, knight g7. But b6, you know, it's not a very good idea in this position. Well, now I'm actually threatening to take this guy on c6 and then take on e5. Because of the queen d4, I can just retreat my knight and then there is some rook e1 move. So now he's got issues with the e5 pawn, right? All right, my friends, two minutes and 15 seconds for Mr. Malon Miller. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bishop c5. 
Well, I told you, I want to take this guy and take an E5. And I don't see a reason why we shouldn't do this, you know? Ooh, Knight F6. That's another rook for free, baby. Give me your material. I love free material, so it's going to capture everything. Okay? With your permission, my friend. Okay, so one minute, 40 seconds for Mr. Malo Miller. And, uh, yeah, so this is just completely winning. Of course, we have uh, too much material, a rook and two pieces, so this is just a matter of time, right? D5. Okay, fair enough. Let's say bishop d3, and now after e4, let's just give some pieces back, for example. Bishop e2, no problem. We have enough material, so. Ooh, d4, for example, attacking this bishop. Right? Bishop d6, so let's say knight e5 now. So he didn't want to get this uh, free piece, so let's just move it somewhere else. And here, give me that baby after bishop e2, queen e2. And uh, this is another piece for free. And queen d5, that's another one. So, you know, I have no mercy. I'm taking everything. I'm taking everything. I told you. Every single thing. Every single thing. Every move you make. Na, 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 na. Checkmate on d8. Next move. Only move rook f7. It's got to resign. Uh, let's go for the next game. Let's play against some strong player. For example, Moxa from uh, Germany. Now let's change and play the English opening. I always uh, like to play different openings so we can learn from different type of positions, right? Let's go knight c3 and uh, d6. All right, let's go g3. This is uh, Sicilian with reverse colors, as you can see. And now let's say e4 here, playing this Botvinnik system. And knight g2, e2, sure castle, sure castle, sure castle. and... Uh, Let's take and then play h3, free move, right? And now my idea is to go d4 in the next move, for example. Knight c5, and this allows me to go for d4 in this position. Knight d3, is this possible? Maybe it is. Maybe it is possible. Not sure. Bishop b3, knight takes b2, queen b3, knight d3, queen b7. Well, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm just going to go for that, guys. I'm gonna go for that. Bishop b3, knight b2, queen b3, and then we have some c5 ideas as well. Let's go. Yeah, why not? Let's go, my friends. So I'm gonna cut this pawn on b7. I don't see a reason why not, right? And then c6 is very weak in these positions. So actually, I think I'm taking that pawn as well. So which is, this is good news, of course, for me. And uh, after pawn takes d4, knight takes d4, the bishop on f5 is just hanging as well. e4, yeah, probably this is uh, his, uh, best, uh, his best try at this point. But I'm, you know, I'll keep capturing peace. Why not, right? After bishop d7, queen a6, nothing really bad happens. And after rook c8, queen b5, we attack the bishop on f5, and then e4 is also a very weak pawn. So we got a nice position, guys. One minute, 50 seconds for Mr. Moxa Pope. Moxa Pope. Don't worry, Malon. I was playing on my phone and misclicked B6. And after that, I just kept wondering. Don't worry. Just is like that, you know? And uh, Rook C8 and then probably Queen B5 looks good to me. Yeah, this looks very good to me. Now, we put pressure against the f5 bishop. He's going to do something about it. And probably bishop g6 is the best right here. Oh, he just blundered. Give me that. Boopa. And uh, now I'm going to take another one. I think. I think I'm going to take this guy here. Or maybe queen b5. Well, knight e4. It removes the knight away, and then queen a5 is just possible. So, yes, 
I'm checking this guy here. And after 94, queen e4, nothing happens. And uh, yeah, looks good, right? So what do you guys think about the Grand Prix? Who's going to win the finals? Well, I think if Rapport uh, wins the finals, I think he's got a lot of chances to go to the candidates. I read some stats somewhere which were saying that it will have like 90-something percent. Because Nakamura, Levon Aronian, uh, they're all in the same group. 95. So, 26 check. This looks good to me. And then 90 takes d6. Next move. Boomba. Boomba. And we attack the queen. So, basically, it's got to take here. Basically, the only move now. Just queen takes d5. You know, whenever uh, we have some material up, it's always nice to, you know, to simplify the position, right? So we minimize the risks. So Horacio wants me to play the ball cloud opening. <laughs> Maybe we can do that for sure. And, so, and uh, let's keep playing. For example, against who? Against Sychez from Sweden. What a nice country, Sweden, right? I've been playing the Swedish league for so many years with a team from uh, Lund in the south of Sweden. And uh, let's go for the Sicilian. Let's try the Kalashnikov. He goes for the open Sicilian. He doesn't go. He goes for bishop c4. This is not very challenging. Now, usually, I can play with this setup, for example, fighting against this bishop on c4, right? Because, uh, you know, now f7, was uh, was a little bit weak, but after playing e6, you know, this bishop on c4 is a little bit clumsy. And, uh, you know, our plans to go knight g to e7, short castle, and then strike in the center with c5. There is a very well-known trick that many people fall for, which is bishop e3 here in this position. And then after d5, d4, we have a fork. So let's just try to see if he goes back to e3, and then <laughs> he didn't. Okay, nothing, nothing happens. Let's just go d6. And uh, bishop b5, and uh, let's, let's just go g5 here, and a6 in the next move. And he will have to give up the bishop pair, which is uh, Kalashnikov, beautiful. Half the course of Danny King. Yeah, Danny King has a very nice course on chessable. I'm preparing a new, uh, a new long course for chessable. I'll give you some news in a few days, but I'm working on a new course as well. I thought this guy was Spanish. I am Spanish, Marta. But there are some Spanish people <laughs> that can't speak all the languages, even though if you don't believe that. <laughs> uh, let's go for Shore Castle here. And, uh, well, B4, wow, this is a big blunder. Give me that, baby. Bishop C3. Peace for free. Rook B1, and I'll just uh, keep collecting free food. Let's just collect all the free food. What's up, Grand Mix student? Long time no see you. What's up? I see you're improving, yeah? Grand Mix student now 2360 rating points in Chess 24. I remember where you were like 1900 or something like so many years ago. That's good news, Grand Mix student. From India, right? I hope the Olympiad is finally, you know, done in India. Would be so nice. To, to visit India this year. Yeah, probably night takes before was very stupid from, from my side. But anyway, you know, I was a little bit relaxed since uh, we are just a piece up, but you can never relax in chess, right? That's a problem. So let's just capture and he takes with the pawn and just taking on d1. Once again, minimizing the risks. Um, b5, I want to develop this guy to b7, right? What's up, Ahmed? How's it going? How's it going, Ahmed? Where are you saying hello from? Tell me. I'm great, sir. Uh, I improved a lot due to Chess 24 shows and videos. That's great to hear. That's always great to, to know that you guys are from the videos, from the shows. You know, we have to really thank you guys for, you know, becoming premium members, for sharing everything, like for, you know, for just staying here with us. You know, otherwise, you know, Chess 24 wouldn't exist, right? Let's see for it. 
attacking the room. Go home, baby. Greetings from Indonesia. Wow. Nice country. Mm -hmm -hmm. Bishop B7, yeah, let's go. Bishop B7. Rook C4, Ponte takes B4, Rook B7, Rook B8. He's going to take on the wise spade on the background. And uh, the endgame is completely winning, right? He didn't, so I'm just going to capture the knight on E4. Are you the guy who loses eight games against Magnus? Yes, Mohamed. I am that guy, you know. <laughs> I am that guy. You know, he beat me eight and a half versus half. You know, Magnus is actually a monster, you know. I'm just a regular grandmaster, guys, you know. Life is, uh, life is hard when you play against Magnus Carlsen, right? Not only for me. <laughs> and uh, greetings from Bermuda. Wow. Really? You're in Bermuda? I heard there's going to be a tournament over there. And, uh, okay. Who else? Who else is here? For example, Beluf from France. That, uh, that drop point celebration was worth it. <laughs> totally, right? You know, it was uh, it was already um, it was already seven zero. You know, I thought I was gonna go like uh, without uh, making any point. You know, so that was kind of a relief for me. You know, C five. What is this opening? What is this? Let's go Queen B six. Tromposki with H four. Well, well, well. What to do here? Let's just take here. Ah, it takes back. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go e6. I want to just develop by this stupid knight from b8. It's not easy. I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. But clearly he knows what he's doing. Cannot say the same. In fact, I cannot say the same. What to do? Queen takes b2? Queen takes b2? No. I'm just going to play d6 here. Well, I'm going to have some troubles in this game, for sure. Okay, Pepe. Let's go. 97. 97. <laughs> Knight of 6, attacking the pawn on e4. Now I want to play g6, bishop g7, to fight against this guy on c3. 2 minutes, 43 seconds? You're so fast, man. I'm going to play h5 to stop any kind of attack on the king side. And now let's say g6. Why not? In order to go bishop g7, next move, e5, bothers me a lot. I should have played probably bishop g4 first in that position, you know? Fa! Ah, no, I can take on d5. Can I take on d5? I think so. After pawn takes e6, knight takes e3. I think I can. Yeah? Knight takes e5. Hello, greetings from Romania. Constanta City. All the best, maestro. What's up, Daniel? So bishop b5, give me that, baby. Queen takes b5. And now, and now, and now, e6 followed by d5 looks very good to me. So I'm going to go for that. e6, in order to go d5, close the diagonal for this stupid bishop in c3. And uh, people long time no see on Bantam play. That's completely right. No, it's been so busy in the Spanish channel, you know, lately, in the last years, in the last months, actually. So, but I, I was missing you guys. I was missing to the Bantam plates in English, for sure, you know. Uh, let's go bishop g7, just covering the dark squares, and then it's in a short castle, probably. I'm still, I'm still thinking he's got some compensation in this position, for sure. a4, what is this move? What is this move, my friend? Well, let's go queen c6, why not? Queen c6, solid chess. Four, four. I want to open this long diagonal for my light square bishop, right? What's up, Adam Genesis? Well, Adam uh, does a fantastic job, you know, creating, like, uh, some designs for Chessable. So I recommend you to follow his, uh, his social media profile. You know, I, you have, uh, you want some chess design, always talk to him. Uh, I'm going to go D4. I'm tired, you know, of, uh, you know, of waiting you here. D4, Bishop B7. And once again, I want to play Queen E4, minimizing risks. Ah, he is very smart. He is very smart. Okay, now, I mean, I'm a little bit scared, but I'm going to go for a short castle here. Queen d5 by next idea, uh, putting pressure against e5. And I don't see how he's going to protect the e5 pawn, right? 
So I think we're in good shape here, guys. So rook f3, what is this? Can you go for that? Can you go for that and then survive? I don't think so. Well, let's go queen d7, attacking the rook first, and then queen d5, my next move. I think what well, this was smart. Ah, 94, maybe it's not so smart. <laughs> uh, I think I'm forced to take and then probably queen d5, right? Now, I think he's forced to take and then the, the e5 pawn is going to suffer for sure. You know, we're going to bring all our forces to the e5. Uh, probably we're going to capture this guy on e5. Bishop f4 and then rook e8. That's nice move. And then I could have taken actually an e5 straight away, right? Bishop e5, bishop e5, rook e8. And then there was no way to protect the, the e5 bishop. So I think we're doing very fine here. Takes, takes. A5, let's close the position with B5. Rook F6, where are you going? Run from there. Rook E6, A6. And now we double rooks. Give me that, baby. We double rooks, and then we intend to go Rook E2 in the next, in the next move. And uh, this is it. Check. Check. And uh, let's go Rook A2. So I want to play Rook E1 in case it takes an... He takes there, and uh, let's play rook e2. Now check. Check, my friend. Give me that, baby. Well, this is getting a little bit uh, complicated. <laughs> this is getting complicated. Ah, uh, Take. Um, b4. Run. Run, 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 like a beast. Here. Rook b3. b3. King f6. Nothing bad happens. King f5, run. Run, baby. King g4. Give me that. King f5. Here. 11 seconds. Rook e7, rook e6, pre move. Take stakes. King f6. Rook e5, rook e6. There. Rook f6. Here. No! I blundered the rook. But he didn't see. Okay. Nothing happens. And we win on time. That's good. That's good, my friends. And, uh, okay. Let's play against, uh, against the field master. Very strong player. Yes. He beat me a couple of times here in chess 24. Let's go C4. English opening versus Jup. And now E4, the Kado Khan. This is like the pan of variation versus the Kado Khan, right? We are just transposing. Knight C3 takes, takes, and Knight F3. And then let's see how he plays. Mm, let's play fast. Bishop c4. There we go. Short castle d4. Isolated pawn structure. Ooh, what is this? Can he do that? Well, I'm just going to go short castle here. He has to protect the d5 knight. Well, he doesn't. This is very strange. Okay, d4. Let's play fast. You know? Let's play fast and rookie one, for example. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, can you do that again? I think you can. My friend, b6. This is a very nice idea, actually. Okay, let's go 94. Just uh, bringing our pieces to the center. It should be seven and, uh, for example, a3. This is very natural. And now queen d3 in order to go bishop d2 and then connect the rooks. Two minutes and 25 seconds. So material is balanced. Bishop a2. So of course I'm not allowing you to, to capture the bishop pair. So maybe knight g5 here? I don't know, man. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. So knight f6, very nice move. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to go knight g5 here. And after a6, I'm thinking about sacrificing everything like a crazy guy. I don't know what you think. But maybe. Takes an e6, takes. Then there's some knight h4 idea. Very dangerous for him. So... Okay. I so want to sacrifice everything, guys. I so want to sacrifice everything, you know? But maybe knight e5 first or knight f7 first. I don't know. 
95. Let's go 95 here. Bishop d5 probably is, is his idea. So bishop d5 probably. That's a very good move, I believe, here in order to survive. I think he's completely lost. One minute, 50 seconds, 95. I mean, this needs to be almost uh, done, right? So let's see. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. So I'm just going back. I'm just going back and tend to go bishop eight six. Let's go bishop eight six here. So it's gonna go there, there, and now rook d1. Let's see, position is now complicated. He went back, and now what to do? What to do? H4, let's say. Let's go to attack here. H5. All right, so maybe queen d2. Intended to go for the dark squares. Takes, takes. All right, so I think I'm forced to take. Maybe I can take with the rook. Maybe I can take with the rook or even with a pawn looks nice. Intending, as I told you once again, I don't know. I don't know. 95. 95, rook d8, probably. 50 seconds only. Ay, 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 ay. So let's take here on d5 and then play queen f4. Queen f4, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One minute, 26 seconds. So give me that, baby. Give me that, baby. I'm going to go king h2 here. Position is very complicated, guys. I don't know what's going on. Let's go rook e3 in order to attack some pieces over there. I don't know. Maybe some f3, maybe some rook t3. I don't know what's happening here. 44 seconds. Crazy. Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. I'm going to go b4 here. I'm going to go b4 here. I don't know, maybe just on rook g3. I don't know why I'm playing rook g3. Oh, shit! I just blunder everything. I just blunder everything. Knight h3. I'm playing very, very slow as well. Knight f4. Let's see if I can capture on h5. Here, here. And check. Check. You didn't see that coming. You didn't see that coming. Knight f6. Queen h6 is coming. Let the rook on c1 is hanging. Ah! The rook on c1 is hanging. I don't believe this shit. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The rook was hanging. So maybe rook h3. Can I go rook h3 after queen c7 is the only move? Queen h, queen c7 is the only move. 23 seconds for Jupe. Rook h3, let's go. Rook h8, now we're threatening mate. Bishop c6. And now this is going to be checkmate very soon. This is got to be checkmate very soon. I'm going to go queen g5 here. So knight d5 now is a threat. 17 seconds. He's completely lost. He's completely lost. He's going to resign very soon. Okay, no, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. 95 check. That's the way it is. Queen e7. Ah, I don't know. Oh, I'm going to pass out, my friends. Thanks for the game, you. Always great battles here. And, uh, okay, let's play against uh, Elefunor from, <laughs> from Great Britain. <laughs> E4. Let's drink some water, right? <laughs> the Scandinavian. He takes E5. Knight F6. Now let's go C4 here. Just in the point. And, uh, yeah, let's capture on D4. Let's capture an e6 and e4. Uh, this is actually a very interesting pawn sacrifice. So bishop e4, queen is having ideas. Right? Queen e7. Yeah. So, of course, he wants to take on c4 with the check. So I should do something. What should I do? That's, uh, that's a question. So I'm going to go bishop e3. And... Uh, Yes, I want to develop, basically. 
after queen b4 now, queen d2 is a good move. And uh, let's say h3, prophylaxis. Very important concept in chess, prophylaxis. Knight to f3. And uh, let's say bishop e2. Once again, he wants to capture d4 or something using the pin along the e5. But I'm just going to place my bishop in e2. And now I'm ready to go for sure castle, right, in the next move. And if I manage to complete development, and I will be much better here, right? Ba, 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 ba. Knight before. So you want to play knight two next move. I see you, my friend. So knight e3, only move to stop that uh, fork. And uh, yeah, next move is short castle, right? A life is great, you know, when you're a pawn up. I can say that for sure. C5, you want to open the position, so I'm closing it. Of course, you know, so now your rook on d8 is not working anymore. And uh, yeah, so let's go short castle. Finally, guys, we have managed to complete development. And now we're bringing our rooks to the e5 for sure. Queen e4, what's your idea? I don't see the point of queen e4. Maybe I will, I will at some point. But now I don't see why you go queen e4 here. But, uh, well, he wants to develop. Yeah, but here, this is fine for us. This is more than fine. Even queen a5 here. No, queen a5 is just ridiculous. I didn't say anything. Don't listen to me, guys. So, a3. Let's just try to push our pawns. Push your pawns, baby on the queen side by playing b4. He wants to attack me now like crazy. Okay, knight e5 now, threatening the fork on f7. You want to protect that pawn? You want to protect Facundo? You want to, you know, you want to hack Facundo? You want to, you have to play rook a7 because bishop g6 is just a ridiculous move. So now b4, let's go, baby. Pawn takes, pawn takes, bishop takes, pawn, rook takes a7. Bishop g6, all right, Chicago. So let's say knight d3. Why not? That's good. And uh, so, where are you going today, guys? Saturday night. You have any plans? You're going for dinner with your family and friends? I'm going to, to have dinner with some friends to an Italian restaurant here in Ibiza. This is where I live. It's a beautiful island, uh, you know, Balearic Islands in Spain. Probably some of you have been around here. So give me that, baby. Rook b1. Rooks to the open files all the time. That's the way you go. H4. Nah, you want to open the position. Well, now I invite you to take this pawn. Boppa! Bishop f5. Uh, he's got to resign. Nice game. Elefunor. And uh, let's uh, accept some challenges. Some strong player. For example, Stonox from Spain. And now we change and then play d4. d4. I'm sure all of them knows about Ibiza. Yeah. The crazy island, right? Now it's not so crazy because of the pandemic, of course. It's more calm, you know. But uh, still very nice. Very nice place to live. I cannot complain, actually. So, Xtonax, are you there, my friend? Or you left already? You left me alone, the story of my life, you know? I'm here trying to hang uh, with you guys, and then you leave me alone once again. So, Xtonox, I will have to abort the game in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Abort the game. Uh, let's take another opponent. For example, my friend, uh, my friend, my friend, Soti. Soti. Soti, Soti. Are you there, Soti, or no? Soti! Sota. No, Soti is not here. Let's see if there's somebody else. And here, for example, Jose. Jose is one of the first ones who challenged me. Now let's go e4. C5, Sicilian defense. Okay, knight f3. 
then d6. Let's go for the check on b5. This is uh, some variation that Magnus Carlsen has tried a lot in his openings. And uh, can you sing? I feel you can sing. Well, I can sing in the shower for sure, you know. Uh, <laughs> rookie one. No me abre la página, Soti. You can, uh, you can challenge me again. C3, let's try to install a beautiful center here. Beautiful pawn center with C takes D4, knight C3. Uh, we're enjoying some space advantage, as you can see. H3, this was prophylaxis against uh, knight G4, so we can develop the bishop to E3. And now we are playing another prophylactic move with the A3 in order to stop B4. So I believe white is fine here. This is very dubious, in my opinion. Well, maybe not so bad, but uh, if I go queen d2, knight b6 bothers me a little bit. So, But anyway, I think I can play b3 there. So I'm playing queen d2 in order to go rook c1. So rook e8, yeah, he's putting some pressure against the e4 pawn, which makes a lot of sense. But now I'm going to play bishop g5, protecting the e4 pawn. h6 is never possible in these positions, right? Uh, for obvious reasons, uh, queen b6, all right, mate, fair enough, fair enough. Let's bring some pieces to the center of the board with rook d1, and uh, yeah, position is about equal, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe knight a4 now, and I, I will just grab a pawn probably on, on b4 with my queen next move. I mean, I have to do that. Queen b7. This gives me other uh, chances, but I think I'll, I'll do it anyway. So queen b4, pawn b4, rook b8, I believe is his idea. And uh, I think I can play something like pawn takes. And uh, after pawn takes, probably I have this idea with knight c5. And let's see where it takes us. You know, knight c5, pawn takes c5, rook b2. Uh, probably position is around equal, but uh, I trust in this, you know, because I have this powerful pawn on c6. Maybe I'm just saying stupid things because it's very weak. It's a very weak pawn. Yeah. What am I doing? Stupid Pepe. Rook c1. We should take stakes, stakes. Well, let's take here and then play rook c1 and uh, try to protect the pawn. I'm, uh, you know, I'm having troubles with my time in this position. So let's see. Let's see. Let's bring the king. But uh, he's also bringing the king. Not easy, man. Not easy. Not easy at all. Ah. Uh, ay, 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 C7. Let's go for C7. And then rook C6. Attacking the bishop on the pawn. Let's go. Let's go, my friends. Ah, you want to go there? You want to go there? Okay, G3. Let's give some fresh air to my king. A4. And uh, let's go rook A1. We have to flag him. We need to flag him. Rook A4. Let's go. Let's try. King G2. Let's go. Let's try to flag him. So rook A6. Put in pressure there. Where are you going? Uh, rook A4 back. And now let's try something here. For sure, I have nothing. H4. Let's go. So, king g7. Let's go rook b4. Now I have to regroup my knight at some point. We need to flag him. I don't know how, but we need to do it. Knight h2. Knight g4 is my idea. Those h5. Good move. Now, let's try to bring the knight to d5. That's a very nice square for the knight. Let's go. Knight d5. Attacking the bishop. Now the king goes to f3. Nice maneuver. And now, let's say rook e4. So, the bishop is kind of trapped there. I mean, the bishop cannot get activated, so he uh, decides to go for this. Let's just take and then play king f3, pretty fast, and then rook a7. This is the idea. Rook a7. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So let's try some rook a6 check. Uh, now, check here. Check here. Now, knight f5, pre move, knight f5 here, and then we have checkmate. This is amazing. We got checkmate here. So King G4, this is checkmate, right? Boomba. 
Ah, he's just uh, Bishop H6, but now Knight H4 does checkmate. <laughs> Ay, 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 ay. Mm. Thanks for the game, Jose. Very nice game. Whoa, we got a grandmaster here. He's 2570 from Spain. He is one of the best chess players from Spain. So this is going to be extremely tough. And now we're going to play our Philido defense for sure. Once again. Against strong grandmaster, my friend Albert Alonso. Very strong player. Let's play e5. Let's see. So 92, bishop e7. Let's go for sure. Castle. What to do, right? And then let's play c6. a4. And now let's play a5. a5 was very strange here. I'm just hoping him to go for knight c3. No, he goes for b3. All right, my friend. So let's go knight d7. And then b6. I don't know. Why not? And uh, queen c7. Let's see. Rook e8. Pretty fast. Knight c4. Where are you going? You're putting me some pressure here? Don't do that, man. Knight e3. Mm -hmm. So basically, you want to play knight f5. So I'm not allowing you. I'm playing g6. Prophylaxis. He wants to play. Oh, that's uh, an exchange for free. So I'm just going to grab it. I'm just going to grab it, guys. You know, I'm a big fan of free exchanges. So take stakes there. Boom, 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 boom. Bada boom, bing, boom. Let's just go rookie eight. Why not? Position is still not easy. Still not easy. Right? Still not easy, but uh, we'll try. Yeah, let's take. Let's take. Give me that, baby. And now probably, probably, probably Bishop F8. Looks good to me, so I just want to bring my bishop to g7 to fight against this strong piece on b2 and the queen on d4. This machinery, right? Just pointing to my king on g8. So bishop a3. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, my friend? So bishop g7. Yeah, let's go bishop g7. Why not? Why not bishop g7? Knight d5, I think it doesn't work. Maybe it, it works, but I don't think so. I just take and then queen c5. Now my threat is to go queen, uh, knight takes e4, for sure. Bishop d7. Now I can play uh, knight d7. Oh, shit! Oh, i got to be extremely careful. Knight d7, queen takes e7, knight d5, check! So I have to be extremely careful here. So I'm just taking this guy here with the queen, right? And uh, huh. knight d7, queen takes e7, knight c to d5, and then knight takes e7 with a 4. That was pretty amazing, but I think I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. So knight takes e4. This should work. This should work. This should work for sure. So I'm just gonna take, guys. Sorry, sorry. So queen takes e7, king takes e7, knight takes e4, and uh, I thought I was fine here, but you never know. You never know, of course. So king h6. Let's go for this. King h6. Just trying to put this king in a, in a safe situation. It's got, uh, like, I don't know, how many pieces? Oh, shit! No, I don't, I don't fucking believe it. I don't believe it. It's going to beat me in this game. I just don't believe it. Oh, shit. Queen h3. Oh, knight g4. I missed that completely. But maybe I can survive. I don't know. <laughs> king g5, f4, king f5. I don't see mate. I don't see mate. Knight g4, king g5. I don't see mate, guys. Knight g4, king g5, f4, king f5. And I don't see any mate. Knight e3, king e6 back. Right? So... Okay, it's trying to. What are you trying to do, my friend? What are you trying to do? Oof. So, king h5, knight f6. Ah, maybe it is a draw, actually. <laughs> maybe it is a draw. 
I think it's a draw. Incredible. Incredible. King g5, f4, king h5, knight f6 here. f4, here, here, here. I think it's a draw. Incredible. Yeah, it is a draw. Okay, well played. Very interesting. For sure, I was winning at some point. And, uh, but okay, we tried. And uh, let's play some more games. For example, against, uh, against who? Against our friend, uh, against our friend Soti. Let's try, let's see if he can play now. I don't know. What a finish, right? I don't. What a game. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Alvar. Alvar is a very nice guy. I'm very nice coach as well. You guys need some chess lessons for sure. You can contact, contact him. He's now playing the European Championship, so I'm sure he'll qualify for the World Cup. Why not? I think Soti cannot play. He's got some issue with this challenge or something with his computer. So let's play against. Uh... So is there is anybody here? Yes, we got, for example, Ariel from Argentina. D4, let's go for the Benko Gambit, which is one of my favorites. D5, in the Benko Gambit, you basically sacrificed a pawn and you get uh, open files uh, on the A file and on the B file, and you have also a powerful, a powerful bishop. Sorry, in G7. This is the so-called Perunovic variation, where Black uh, delays the capturing of the A6 pawn. And basically, what you do is you bring first the queen to A5, and then you try to recapture on A6 with the queen. So basically, that way, White has some troubles in order to cast Bishop A2. So what was the idea here? I don't remember anything from my own series, you know? Let's take and then play queen a6. This should be an idea for sure. And after, ah, he goes a4. And now I'm just trying to open the e file, right? Using the fact this game still stuck in the center, right? So basically I want to take on d5 and then play rook a check and then knight a6, knight b4, something like that. And then if he takes an e6, of course, I take back with the F1, and then I try to install a beautiful pawn center on D5, right? This is basically my idea. And now my knight can come to C6 as well, where I, you know, I'm intended to use the D4 or B4 square, depending on the situation, right? So two minutes for Ariel. And uh, Bishop B3. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Well, let's go knight a6, developing a piece and protecting Carlitos. And now, for sure, my, my target is the b2 pawn. Uh, let's go for that. Rook b8, now attacking the b2 pawn. Let's see how he protects it. And I can try to double pieces on the b file, for example, with rook b7 and rook a b8 some point, it's not easy for him to block the b5 with knight b5, since the e4 pawn is just hanging. So that was nice. Now I can try to play d5 straight away. Takes, 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 rook b2 check. Well, that should be interesting. Let's go for this, d5, why not? Pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, rook takes, rook takes. Le, 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 le. Knight takes, and then rook takes b2 with a check. He cannot cover on d2 because of rook takes d2 followed by bishop a1. So I believe he's going to play king f1. At least we can play rook f2, and then bishop takes a1, and position should be around equal. Yeah, but uh, probably this is not nothing more than a draw. I don't like this, guys. I want to win this game, but it's not going to be easy. Well, let's just take here, and then bishop takes e1. And after bishop takes c5, I don't have anything better than taking on c5 and taking on a4. Right? 
Well, life is hard sometimes. But we need to flag it. Now knight b4 is a threat, I believe, because now he cannot take a c5 because of knight e3 check for it. And le 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 le. Give me that. Rook takes a4. Bishop c5, and now how to how to win this position? It's gonna be very hard. Well, first of all, let's just stop some checks and bring some pieces to our defense, right? Rook c7, and now we can play knight e5. Then knight d3 is in the air once again, right? Check. Let's let's check him on d3, and uh, let's just check again on f4. Now uh, it's gonna suffer. It's gonna suffer. Well, but uh, I also have some troubles with my king. <laughs> I need to be extremely careful. In fact, I'm gonna play knight is six here. Check and then king f7. No more checks for you. And uh, now let's check him once again here. And finally, I'm gonna capture this guy here g2. That was not possible because of bishop e5, and uh, he's got to resign, guys. Thank you for the game, Ariel. Let's play a couple of more games. For example, against uh, Fasolaki from Greece. Let's go for Sicilia. Let's go for the Sicilia. C3, the Alapin variation. All right, knight f6, e5, knight to d5. Queen f3, wow, this is very weird move. This is uh, against one of the classical principles in, che in chess, sorry. You shouldn't uh, move the queen very early in the game. You should first develop your minor pieces and um, put your king into safety, right? Let's go bishop d7. He had the opportunity to double my pawns, not anymore. So let's go a6. Now he captures, we just recapture with our bishop, putting pressure against e4. Basically, only move here is d3 or knight g3. And now let's just go for the fianchetto, Italian word, right? which refers to the formation of the bishop and these three pawns, right? Like creating some sort of castle. So let's go short castle here. We have developed, we have complete, completed our, you know, but it's getting dangerous, I would say. I'm gonna go bishop d7 and then bishop g4. Not so sure about this move. But anyway, we stop h5 ideas for this moment. Ooh, let's go b5. Let's attack like crazy guys. Let's attack like crazy guys. D4. Let's go b4. Once again, intending to open some files. Uh, I had some 94 idea. Well, I'm gonna go rook c8 and inviting him to capture b4. Because now I have this beautiful move, 94. What's up, Luis? As life. Of course, he can never capture knee four, just a bishop at five. Boopa! Boopa! Queen is pinned, and basically is gonna say bye bye to his dreams. To his dreams, and now to his knight as well, right? He's uh, completely trapped in the corner on a6. And I'm so happy, you know. Keep it up, baby. Queen a6. And game over, 8-6. Let's cut his dreams of, you know, of pushing 8-6. And now we come with all our pieces. For example, rookie four in order to capture me on, on d4. Boopa! And now the bishop in d4 is working against b2. So basically, I mean, I want to finish the game already. Well, uh, let's take another piece here. Maybe this is not winning immediately, but almost. Rook c2. And now queen e5 is a threat. Queen b2 is a threat. 
everything is a threat here. Baba. Thank you for the game, my friend Fasolaki. The great Fasolaki. Okay, so what else do we have, guys? For example, Luce from Spain. Luis David, I think I don't have your challenge. D6, D4, and it goes for the fillet or against me. Cannot believe this. Let's go G4, the so called sheet of variation. Oh, is that possible? H6? Well, let's go, for example, for example, for example, bishop c4. I want to go g5 next move and then target the f7 pawn. There we go. Luki. Now I'm going to take with the queen, with your permission. Looks dangerous for black already, right? Maybe knight takes c4 is not the end of the world for him. I don't know. Maybe nothing bad really happens here in that position for him. But for sure, we'll have a lot of compensation. Now g5 looks very strong. And now 95, probably 95 still possible here, right? 95, that's uh, what I thought, yes. And uh, maybe, and just maybe, bishop b3 or bishop e2, yeah. I want to protect the f3 square, so I'm not going to play smart here. And, uh, you know, just trying to continue development with Bishop B3 along Castle. Um, for sure, we have a good position. For sure, we got, we got a great position here. Let's play Bishop B3. Let's invite him to take B2. For sure, he's not going to do it. I mean, he will have to be extremely brave to take B2. Um, probably it's not a good move. So, well, we got more space. We got more development. So... Once again, I cannot complain about my position. I would prefer to have the queens on the board, but you know, you cannot have everything in life. You cannot have everything in life. What about f4 here? f4 bishop b2, pawn takes c5, pawn takes c5. And he survives. Incredible. Incredible. Well, let, then let's play f3. Kicking this bishop first. And now we'll see how we proceed at this point. Ba -ba. The wall is mine. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bishop h5. All right, buddy. So I'm going to go short castle. Maybe long castle was better, yeah? Yeah, short castle doesn't make any sense. And such a, such a fish. Well, but that's a pawn for free, my friend. Bumba, Bishop A7. Ah, okay, thank you. I'm not sure if your good microphone is the one that you're using right now. Let me just check. You are you are more than right. So I'm just gonna try to fix it. I think now it's uh, it's a good one. Thank you, Leonardo, for for telling me. So Knight D7. And uh, I'm just going back to e3. Well, the bishop uh, did its job, and now it goes back to where it belongs. So let's just say king g2. Thank you, thank you, Leonardo. The idea of king g2 is to be able to retreat the knight to h3, right? And um, without troubles along the h file. Well, so. F6, never possible because of knight a6, I would say. So this is just very good for us. Now I'm ready to bring my last piece into the action, the rook from a1. And uh, yeah, let's go back. Let's go rook a to d1. It's got a weakness in d6. Uh, it's got a lot of troubles with time as well. F5, wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow, wow. Is that even possible? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Well, let's go knight e6, and uh, let's see where he goes. And so now knight f4. My idea is just to take on h5, of course, winning the, the bishop pair. And after pawn takes e4, ah, he didn't do it. All right, my friend. 
You're playing well, actually. You're playing very well. So knight d3. After rook g6, king h1 still surviving for me. And uh, bishop d3. F4. Let's say bishop d4. Yeah, he managed to get a good position, actually. So I don't know what I did, but I did something very stupid. So king h1. Good news is that we're going to win the game anyway because uh, he is very low on time. Rook d2, protecting h2. And now let's say, bring another piece to protect everything. Uh, this is getting tricky, guys. <laughs> this is getting very, very tricky. This is getting very tricky. I don't know what to play, in fact. Ah! Let's play... 91, I don't know why, but uh, only six seconds for him. This is getting so tricky. Rook f2, okay, I'm sacrificing the exchange in order to survive here. What can I do? Only two seconds for Luchi. And let's say bishop e2. And yeah, we won on time. Okay, this was not a very good game, guys. But anyway, time counts as well. And... Uh, Okay, let's play against uh, Julio. And um, this is going to be the last game, guys. And then we'll we'll stop the session. I promise. Uh, well, I have to be with you the twentieth of March in this simul against Judith Pogar. Judith Pogar against the Chess24 community. Guys, so I'll be the host, guys. So I'll be chatting with you, proposing moves, and then you'll decide what to play. Judith Pogar from Dubai, from the Hungarian Pavilion. We, from our homes, you know, trying to, to put up a good fight against her. Okay? So Julio's not here. So let's just try to play another game. With somebody else and uh, with Dong, for example, last game, e4. Yes, Dong, I have your challenge, so you can play now. E4, Dong. What has changed uh, since the all way to challenge? Well, basically, you know. Guys, you know, we're struggling a little bit with the play zones and stuff. But in order to challenge, you go to the first comment and click on that link. I think, uh, John, can you play? Or something's going on with your computer. Yeah, for some people, you know, it doesn't work so smooth. Let's put it that way, you know. Okay, I'll have to board the game. And then playing somebody else. Last game. And uh, for example, against EX. Are you there, EX, or not? I think EX is not here as well. So let's see if somebody's here. Yes, Pasambi, for example. Let's go E4. C5, Sicilian. D4, open Sicilian. Takes, takes, and is going for the Pelican. Yes. Now I'm going to show you my pet line. There is a video series in Chess 24 about this line. It gave me so many points during my chess career for free, you know, because there are so many tricks and so easy to fall for black. Now D5, now my move is G3. No matter... Or black plays in the next move, we play g3. And usually black will try to strike with f5 very soon. Otherwise, you know, we're gonna have full control on the light squares with moves like queen h5, c3, knight to c2, knight to e3, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go queen h5 in order to stop f5. And now if this a3 knight arrives to e3, this is almost game over for black. No, no, sorry. Uh, sorry, Dong. Uh, hopefully we can play next uh, next day for sure. So C3, right? Can we play C3 here? I think we can play C3. And after B4, we can always take with the knight. This is probably what he missed, Pasambi. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll keep in mind, uh, Dong. So next day we we are in a band please session. You are the first one in playing. So I'm just bringing this night to C C2 and E3, as I told you. And this looks already very bad for Black, right? Because Black has lost so many tempi by moving this night away. And uh, we have improved all our pieces. Now the night ripes. Finally, we have another night to arrive to D5 in case he wants to take. And we have so many attacking ideas here. Bishop H3, Bishop F5. Mm, knight C5. Okay, he wants to go for some sort of knight D3 check. So we just short castle here. And look at the difference between uh, the bishops. Our bishop is a fantastic piece. His bishop is a terrible piece. Now I'm going to go bishop h3 and bishop f5, probably. So bishop h3, knight e4, bishop f5, knight g5, h4 wins, right? So let's go for it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Knight e4 loses, right? Bishop f5, knight g5, h4. So, okay, let's go here. And it's going to go 8, 6. And my plan is very simple, guys. I just want to go knight e3, knight g4, knight 8, 6, and checkmate. Right? Beautiful plan. Meet up and a meet up. Uh, let's go knight g4. We are right, finally. Uh, we're going to capture this guy here. Takes, takes. Well, I'm not so sure about what I did because now his bad bishop disappeared from the board, but a pawn is a pawn, right? A pawn is a pawn. For sure. And for sure, we are much better here. Rook d1, h4, king g2. Step by step, there's no hurry. There's no hurry, guys. Queen g8. Okay, let's just bring the rook. And now, for example, queen e3, next move. h4, king g2. Queen g7. Well, let's just double rooks. Let's just double rooks on the d5. Queen h6. That was smart. We can play f4 here because we're protecting the h2 pawn with our rook. And we keep the queens on the board, which is never a bad idea. Oh, shit. Maybe it was a bad idea. I don't know. Well, let's just go here. But uh, now he's got some chances. He's got some chances. I did some stupid things here, at least unnecessary things. And now let's play e5. Another stupid idea for me because I cannot take, of course. What am I doing here? So crazy shit. Can I take here? This is beautiful. Maybe beautiful, but bad. Yeah, it's beautiful, but bad. No, I cannot take. Stop saying stupid things, Pepe. Okay, queen f3. Takes. Now, I'm going to go queen c6. <laughs> so risky, all of this, you know. And uh, takes. And uh, takes. And takes here. And check. Let's say check. And uh, he resigns. Okay, guys. Uh, so we are reaching to, well, our last game. And uh, it was very nice to, to come back here to the English channel after maybe a year or two years. I don't know. After, you know, working a lot in the Spanish channel. But it's always nice to, to share with the English community. Mm, it's been a pleasure, as usual, uh, to hang out with you guys. Hopefully, you learned something. Hopefully you had some fun. This is precisely the idea behind all of these shows. And uh, I'll be with you the latest, the 20th of March, in this time all against Judith Polgar. So waiting for you guys. It's been a pleasure as usual. And big hacks from Spain. Take care. And if you drink, don't drive. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Hi everybody, welcome to our new video series. My name is Jan Gustafsson and I'm thrilled to be reunited with fellow Magnus Carlsen's trainers, seconds, Peter Heine Nielsen, Magnus Carlsen's head coach and Laurent Fressinet, Magnus Carlsen's French coach, are both here and we will be going through 
the World Championship match 2021. Our experiences with it, the games, what we prepared, where we felt things went well, where we felt things didn't go well. Peter, we have different perspectives because we were in different locations. Very much. I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about it because you were in Thailand during all the match and I was in Dubai with the Magnus and the you know, this, this non-chess team. So I see some kind of debriefing where we will discuss what was the mood in Dubai, what was happening in the technical department in Thailand. And we got to sort of basically compare notes and uh, yeah, get the two kind of inside looks uh, from the match. Very much so. And Laurent, we are actually in your private home. Thanks for having us. It's a big pleasure to, to welcome both of you. And I'm sure it will be interesting to talk to you guys about the match. Likewise. So we hope you guys enjoy the series with our behind-the-scenes insights. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> <laughs>